Hello my friends, I am Mr23 and starting this video I decided to show my face more often on my YouTube channel. Today I am not alone, I am here with my cat Suki. She is so so fluffy, I love her and she will be with us the entire video. If you like my face but you don't like my videos, that's okay. But if you like my videos and you don't like my face, that's okay either. In today's video I'm going to show you how I created the Android's dream using a Hyon Inspiroi Giano. So for the background part I have started uh, with this um, lovely sunset picture and I have removed the person from it and flip it horizontally. Let me teach you how to remove a person that uh, fast. So you take the lasso tool and select the person around her something like that and then just right click and choose content aware fill and then hit ok. Magic is happening and it's not perfect, you can do some tweaks but this is how I did it. Then I have darkened up the image using uh, levels and um, I have added some stars using a picture that uh, normally looks like that with a sky with some stars and I added the mask and set the blending mode to screen. Then I have added this uh, strange uh, planet then I have used this picture and then I have used it here on the left side, added uh, levels to darken the image, then added a mask set to screen. Then I have added some glow on the image on a layer filled with black and set to color dodge. In order to do that you go to layer, new layer and here on the top you choose color dodge, be sure to check this one, fill it with black and then take the brush tool and for example if you use this color this uh, red color and if you start to paint you'll add a lot of glow to that area and the same here if you choose some bluish color and start to paint on the sky you'll see that you'll add a lot of glow then i have added uh, some uh, mist just a layer set to screen and uh, again i have added more colors using color dodge more stars on the sky and uh, here other picture with some galaxies the same layer is set to screen and I have painted uh, manually painted with uh, this blue color the layer is set to normal I really love to use uh, levels to darken the images it works uh, for me better than uh, brightness and contrast for example and then I have added a layer set to color and I have uh, colored the top part into a, a bluish tone so for that you create a new layer and you set the layer to color and then if you take the brush tool again and start to paint for example here where is that red color you see that it will paint everything into that blue tone because the layer is set to color. Then I have added this picture with some uh, buildings and then another one the same set to screen and on the left side I have painted as I said with the layer set to color with a red color if you can see here because I wanted to have some uh, reddish color over there and then levels again to darken some other parts and in the middle I have painted with this uh, color this bluish white color and you'll see why in just a few seconds then I have uh, merged everything so press ctrl R, shift and I that will do a screenshot of everything that you have made so far and we want to blur this background and go to filter choose blur and here choose uh, Gaussian blur and you'll see that the background became uh, more blurry and uh, we want to do that so we can uh, focus more on our subjects after that I added some clouds on the and now everything starts to make sense and I have added levels and then I have added uh, those uh, stones and added uh, a layer set to soft light fill it 50% gray I always do that to add shadows to intensify the shadows so let's go to layer new layer and here let's choose the mode soft light and fill it with 50% gray and now if we take the brush tool and the black color for example now if we start to paint with the black color you will see that we will add some shadows on the parts that we paint with the black color then I have added more levels, then I have used the same type of uh, layer, the same uh, soft light to add shadows between the stones and the ground floor. 
I have recently received this tablet from Hyon in Spiro which is by far one of the largest pen displays on the market and it is created for pro artists. The tablet is very solid, it is all black and the back material looks really strong, I don't know if it is metal or plastic but it feels really durable. Even if it is that big it weighs around 1 kilogram and because it has bluetooth the battery can last almost 18 hours of standby and it connects to your computer through a USB-C cable or you can connect it to your phone also. Inside the package I could find the tablet of course, the pen, the USB-C cable and also a really nice thing that uh, not all the tablets have which is a pen stand. And inside the pen stand we have a surprise. We have 10 nibs that we can change whenever we want to change them. The pen is very light, it is very easy to use, it has two buttons that I have used a lot, one for right click and the other one for undo. You can set them anyway to any shortcut that you prefer. The felt pen nib is made of fiber and it can increase the friction when you are drawing and that will greatly mimic the drawing experience of a pencil. The software that comes with this tablet is very easy to use, it's very intuitive and I had no troubles in setting my own shortcuts to the pen and also to the physical keys from the tablet. To increase the efficiency it has a small LCD screen where you can see infos as power status, connection and what keys were pressed. I have used the building keys to zoom in and out and also to increase or decrease the brush size. It is one of the smoothest tablets out there, I had a lot of fun in working with it and the AK pressure levels really helped me a lot when I created the rim lights and because of its latest Pentec 3.0 technology it feels like drawing on a paper. If you are interested in this tablet you can find more details and also prices by following the official hyon.com website. This was the starting uh, image, I have this one from Envato, you can check out the links from my video description if you want to take a look at uh, what Envato has to offer, it's a 3D element, you can rotate uh, this one and save the desired position. Then I wanted to match this robot with the rest of my image. And first thing that I did was to add levels and decrease the whites and then I have used selective color and uh, I have changed the neutrals to change the color. And with that soft light that I just told you about, I have painted uh, with black to make the robot more dark and even more after that. And I have added some highlights on the left side using the linear dodge. I have a dedicated tutorial on how to add highlights and shadows. You should check it out so you can learn more. And then uh, with the uh, curves, I have uh, increased the brightness on the left side and then I did the opposite to the right side. I have uh, used color dodge to paint some uh, glows on it as I just uh, showed you a few minutes ago on how to add glows using color dodge and then for the highlights I have used uh, as I said uh, linear dodge. Then I added more with uh, color dodge. I never use just one layer to add highlights you know how it is as you go with the design you want to add more and that's why I'm not using just one color dodge layer because I can change my, change my mind and I don't want to lose some parts of my design. And then here on the face part I have added more glows using the same color dodge and at the end I have painted with red some highlights to look like uh, some cables that are running through this uh, robot. And at the end I have uh, used the white color and painted over to have more highlights. And now is the moment to add the reflection on the ground part and in my uh, latest tutorial with uh, the Scarlet Witch I have explained there how to create realistic reflections so you should watch that tutorial because I explained there a lot of things and how to do it step by step. So after I created uh, the reflection I have made a screenshot of the top part without the ground floor and without the robot and I have uh, placed it here on the bottom area. Then I have used uh, a levels adjustment layer where I have uh, decreased a bit the whites and now the reflection doesn't have that much color and that much light in it and it looks much better like that. Now is the moment to see what the android is dreaming about. I'm going to rotate the canvas so I press the letter R and then I'm going to hold shift and rotate the canvas just like that and I'm going to zoom in 
So actually the photo that I have started with is uh, this one. I have added a mask and because I didn't really like the head position. I mean the photo is gorgeous but the, the head position I wanted to I want to have her looking in the front. I couldn't find another picture with the same woman. So I have added a mask and I have used this photo of uh, this ballet dancer. I really loved uh, the head position in this one so I had to add a mask and uh, mask the head and then I have used the head here and I have masked some parts so uh, it looks like uh, it's from the same picture and I have added uh, a color balance adjustment layer and I have uh, tried to match uh, the colors with the rest of the body. Alright so I have imported her here and we need to make some adjustments so we can blend her better with the rest of the background and also the reflection. The so first thing that I did was to add levels and then I have added uh, with that uh, layer set to soft light some shadows by painting with black and then I tried to change the colors. First uh, color adjustment uh, made was with, with selective color and the layer set to color. And then with curves adjustment layer I have modified again the colors. I have a tutorial where I explain you how to blend a subject with the background using curves you should watch it and uh, learn that technique, it's really easy. I'm interrupting this video to tell you that if you like my content, you can subscribe to this channel by hitting that subscribe button. And then I have added curves and brighten up the right side. And then I have added highlights by painting with a reddish color using the layer set to linear dodge. And then again with uh, the same linear dodge, I have painted some small Highlights, if you look here on the right side, I have painted with a pink color on the sides. So we have some rim lights over there. And then I have decreased a bit the saturation by uh, using hue and saturation. And then of course she needed some hair. So I have added uh, this hair and then I have used a hairbrush to make this hair. I have manually painted uh, more hair. And then uh, with uh, the linear dodge, I have painted some uh, white highlights on the hair and with the color dodge I have added more glow and then more uh, glow using the same color dodge. And around her I wanted to have some doves and because uh, I wanted to make her more visible I have added underneath her a layer set to color dodge and I have painted with the bluish color so she can stand up more in that part of the background. And Coming up to the robot, I forgot to show you that uh, I have some uh, shadows underneath the robot. So I have uh, made some shadows on a layer set to multiply and I have uh, so I have placed the shadows on the right side. And then at the end, I saw that the robot, uh, the Android is not really that uh, visible from the background. So um, I wanted to add uh, more glows over there. So first thing, I added a layer set to screen where I have painted with this bluish color and then the thing that I love to do the color dodge layer where I have painted with blue and now everything is more intense and uh, it's matching my original idea and now let's add the camera row filter for that let's press ctrl alt shift and i and now we have a screenshot of everything that we have done so far and let's right click and convert it to a smart object so we can always come back and modify the filter go to filter and choose camera row filter here on the camera row filter, those are the settings that I have used on the basic, uh, on the detail and at the end uh, I have added some grain using uh, the grain from effects and just press ok. I hope that you enjoy the content from today's video and if you like to support my channel please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And also I'm really curious to find out in the comments down below what do you think about showing my ugly face on the camera. Thank you so much for watching this video, see you next time.